hello 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 queens i'm back at y'all with another client tutorial and today i'm just gonna be showing y'all how i created this soft glam look and we will be using mostly drugstore and beauty supply store products notice how i said mostly because some of the things that we use in this video will be high end but without further ado we're stepping right into the video and i'm starting it off by cleaning my client's face The first drugstore product that I will be using is my LA Colors Dark Brown Eyebrow Pencil and I'm using this to outline her eyebrows. To fill in the front of my client's eyebrows, I'm going in with my Nika K Brow Pencil. This comes from the Beauty Supply Store. I'm not sure of which shade that it is. I don't know if this is light brown or dark brown. I just know it's the one with the reddish tint to it. As y'all can see, this brow is coming together nicely. So I'm just going to go ahead and repeat the same steps on the other side. Now I'm going in with my Eye Envy Clear Eyelash Glue. This comes from the beauty supply store and I'm using this to lay her brow hairs down in place. So as y'all can see, I applied it throughout her eyebrows. Now I'm taking the spoolie end of my brow pencil and I'm using it to mold the hairs down. To clean up her eyebrows, I'm going in with these two Nika K concealers, and they are in the shades 02 and 07. First, I'm going in with the shade 02, and I'm using this to clean up underneath her arch. Now I'm going in with the shade 07 and I'm going to use it to clean up the remainder of the way on the top and the bottom of her eyebrows.
from taking whatever excess concealer I have left on my palette and I'm using it as an eyeshadow base. I believe this was the shade 02. Now I'm going in with my Derma Blend Translucent Powder. Unfortunately, this is not a drugstore or beauty supply store product, but I'm using it to press it through the front of her eyebrows to lighten them up. And I'm also using it to set some of the concealer in place. This step is optional, meaning you don't have to do this, but this is the best translucent powder that I've ever tried. So if you would like to splurge on anything, I recommend that you splurge on this. Now I'm going in with my Black Radiance Contour Palette in the level light to medium and I'm taking the sculpting shade and I'm using it as my transition. Now I'm going in with my Fit Me Press Powder in the shade Truffle and I'm packing this into her crease. For her lids, I'm going in with my e.l.f. Camo Concealer in the shade White. And as I'm blending this out, I'm going to try to keep majority of it on her lids, but I'm going to make sure the edges of it lightly touch my transition shades, just so everything can be nice and blended. I'm taking whatever excess fit me powder I have left on my brush and I'm reapplying it around the edges. I'm taking a matte white eyeshadow and I'm using it to set her lids in place. Now I'm going in with some black eyeshadow and I'm sweeping it across the edge of her lash line. This will just give the illusion that her lashes are thicker without me having to line her eyes. Moving on to the face, I'm going in with my Pond's Moisturizer and I'm using it to moisturize her skin and to blend it out, as y'all can see, I'm using my Damp Real Technique Sponge. To prime her skin, I'm using my e.l.f. Matte Poreless Putty Primer and I'm blending it out using that same Real Technique Sponge, but I'm applying it to her face using this synthetic brush. I'm going to go in and color correct around her mouth using my Nika K concealer in the shade 07. For her foundation, I'm going to be using my Fit Me foundation in the shade Spicy Brown.
To highlight her face, I'm going back in with two of my Nika K concealers in the shades 02 and 07. First, I'm going in with the shade 07 and I'm pretty much laying it down as a base. Now I'm going in with the shade 02 and I'm applying it right on top of 07. To blend out the concealer, I'm just going back in with my foundation brush. To set her face in place, I'm going in with my Morphe Loose Powder and it's in the shade Rich Banana. To bronze up her face, I'm going back in with my Black Radiance Contour Palette in the level light to medium. To set the remaining areas of her face, I'm going in with my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the level Dark Deep. I'm taking some black eyeshadow on an angle brush and I'm using it to line all across her waterline. I'm 
taking a warm brown eyeshadow from my Jaclyn Hill Times Morphe palette and I'm using it to smoke out her lower lash line. I'm going back in with that foundation brush and I'm using it to press in all of the powder. I'm going to go ahead and spray her face in place using some setting spray. Now I'm going to go in and fill in her lashes and this is the style that I'm using. I ended up taking one strip and I just cut it in half and I glued a piece on the edge of each eye. So I glued the left side on our left eye and the right side on our right eye. Notice how I said our because it's our left and right not hers. I decided to add a beauty mark to her face so I'm doing so using my wet and wild black liquid liner now I'm going in and highlighting her face using the gold luxe highlighter from my be perfect carnival XL palette Moving on to the lips, I'm taking my Juvia's Place foundation stick in the shade Congo and I'm using it to outline her lips Now I'm going to go in and blend out the edges of the liner using a Q-tip. My client has naturally dark lips so I have to color correct them a little bit before I go in with any lip gloss. So as you can see here I'm just going in with one of my concealers and I applied it to her lips using a lip applicator and then I went on top of it with my lip gloss. Once I'm finished blending out her lips, we'll be getting into the grand reveal, so I'm going to let y'all watch. Girl, Ready turn, to see? The, turn the mirror. <laughs> Ready to see? Yes. <laughs> Why you got me looking like I'm fit to go to the um club or something, girl? I got to step out tonight. <laughs> I don't know where we're going, but we're going somewhere. Period. Gave you a little Maryland beauty mark. Okay. <laughs> and this blonde with this Marquita, why you always do me like this? <laughs> oh, Snapchat finna be sick. <laughs> oh, y'all finna be sick. <laughs> y'all see this look? Y'all know who the book went. <laughs> Okay, queens, this is the end of the video. I hope you all enjoyed. As you can tell by my client's reaction, this tutorial was another success. If you liked it, please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And make sure you stay tuned for my next one. Bye-bye, queens.